Hello and welcome back to the Phoenix Build. This is episode five and today we're going to Alex of Custom Concepts uh, to do some scavenging hunting. We need lots of parts. Last time uh, we showed you everything that uh, has to do with the heads and uh, today we need a lot of parts and we're going to show you where we get them um, and what we're going to use in our build. So let's go. Custom Concepts. Uh, I'm uh, going to introduce you to Alex. He's the owner of Custom Concepts. He's been uh, a colleague, sort of, for eight years now, and we're actually standing next to the very first project that we did, which we will show you a bit later. Um, Alex, tell us what you have with Porsches, how you know us, and what's your general drive with your business. Well, welcome, Jan. Yes. Uh, here at Custom Concepts. Uh, yeah, we know each other uh, for a long time as yes. neighbors. Uh, my company is called Custom Concepts and uh, yeah, my, as my payoff says, special parts for special cars. So I specialize in uh, uh, special parts for exclusive high-end cars like Porsche, Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati and Aston Martin. And only doing... What kind uh, of uh, uh, brands do you, uh, is your, your flagship or...? Well, for, the, for the Porsche brand, the flagship brands are LN Engineering, where we do the European distribution for um, Otto Fuchs, eh, of, the, of the famous Forge, the Fuchs wheels. And also for Porsche, we stock all power light uh, starters and alternators, uh, which are yeah, uh, yeah, light, the lightweight, stronger versions uh, of them. And um, where did it start for you? Where did you think, okay, I want to supply uh, parts for Porsches or BMWs or I want to supply special parts. Well, it started um, um, uh, f from uh, Let's say as, as, a, as an interest and as a hobby um, I did a totally different studies as the international marketing mm -hmm. uh, and when I earned my first uh, 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 Wage uh, yes. I, I bought a, a sports car a 911 uh, 3.2 Carrera. Yes, and when I bought the car uh, It is your dream car. You drive it for the first time you want to brake, and nothing happens because it's old, very old technology. And uh, so I thought, you know, can I upgrade the brakes? And due to the fact that I, when I was 16, I worked for this special company that, that restored and, and raced cars, you know a lot of people that uh, uh, can do and make special parts. So the only thing I did is I bought these parts from people that I knew and asked uh, workshops to, to mount them on my own car. And, you know, they, they said to me, okay, hey, it works and uh, nice, nice set. Can you supply us another set? Yes. But it was never the idea, but it, it, it just happened. Kind of rolled into it. So I, I rolled into it hmm? and, you know, I just received more and more requests. It was a bit pre-internet time, so uh, uh, people were not, uh, have it very easy to find the right parts. And I already had a network and I slowly put built, from that. built from that. Yeah, Jan, what I'm going to show you today is what's uh, behind us and uh, in the displays. Yes. Um, so first of all, I want to show you uh, one of the brands that uh, we do the European distribution for, LN Engineering. Mm -hmm. LN Engineering is a company uh, uh, based in the US and supplies uh, special uh, lightweight aluminum cylinders with a nickel seal coating. Yes. Uh, but especially big bores. So to upgrade, for example, a Porsche 356 into a 2 liter engine or a, a, a 911 2 liter to a 2.5. A 3.6 uh, uh, to a 4 liter. 3.6 to 4 liters. So these are special cylinders as in the display. Uh, we are going to supply you the, 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 these Nikki cylinders. And uh, combined with that are the uh, JA pistons. Of course, with uh, all the rings, pins, and clips that you need. Yes. And if you have a special build, you want the right uh, mounting materials, like uh, the ARP studs, head studs uh, kit, um, and to top it all off, the Carrillo lightweight and extra strong 
congrats. Yes. And you said something about a, a starter that you have for us, which yes. is new. Yes. And something I want to show you. This is uh, brand brand new. It's uh, introduced only four weeks ago. Uh, Powerlight has uh, lightweight starters for the 915 gearbox uh, and also the um, uh, G50 mm -hmm. for the 911 3.2 uh, Carrera engines. Yes. But they didn't have a starter for the 964 and 993 generation. And this is the first one that I can uh, show you and also supply you. It's a lightweight starter. So this is the very first. So this is the absolutely first. And uh, as you uh, can feel, it's very lightweight. I like billet stuff. But this is uh, go well. It's not going to add uh, to the 360 horsepower, but it's going to add lightness, which we like. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. And what's also very special about it, when you have a, a high compression engine, eh? like we it, do, yeah. yeah, like you do, it is more difficult normally to start, uh, uh, and especially when the when the starter is, uh, let's say, uh, used very much. Mm -hmm. um, 25 year old. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's yeah, a brand new item, lightweight, but also much more stronger uh, construction and, and makes the engine turn around much faster. And what's also interesting, it's the draw of the battery is much less. Okay. So you can also mount a, 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 small, a, small, a, a smaller battery because it, it doesn't drain that much. Awesome. to show you here is uh, as we saw in the boxes uh, uh, um, uh, these are the parts that uh, that are in these boxes these are examples we use uh, in our displays so first of all this is one of the uh, the lightweight LN engineering uh, 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 developed Nikki's uh, what so these are brand new cylinders for yes. Porsche engines yes so with uh, uh, an increased uh, um, uh, bore, bore and what's nice about it is that LN Engineering develops them in-house. It's not only lightweight, it doesn't only have the nickel coating which everyone uh, loves, eh? mm -hmm. but uh, on the side you see also uh, the connection for a knock sensor. Yes. This is standard uh, on several uh, larger displacements, eh? uh, but you can also get them for uh, the very old engines. So if you want to upgrade, for example, your engine with knock uh, detection, uh, with, knock detection eh, with the programmable injection, mm -hmm. uh, it is possible from from uh, from the start. And also something, uh, these cylinders are mooned from the factory or from uh, LN Engineering. Um, on older style 911 engines, you have to do it yourself, but these come pre-mooned, as we as we say, uh, and you can't feel it, but they are very very light uh, and interesting. Yeah. And, and uh, also to give you an example, if you have the, the, the 356 cylinders, these are the same construction, but they have, for example, also an uh, uh, increased amount of, uh, of cooling fins, which makes the cylinders much more cooler. Uh, and yeah, as you know, uh, cooling uh, is, uh, is essential for horsepower. And this is uh, also something we don't do often, but uh, water-cooled generation, Yes, these are for? M96, uh, so for a generation Porsche 996, Boxster 986, and a generation M97 engines, which is uh, until 2005. Uh, so the Cayman, the Boxster, the 996, 997. Uh, well, uh, what we see is that uh, a lot of uh, cars in this generation had issues with uh, bore scoring. Mm -hmm. um, um, there are companies that, that uh, uh, change these uh, by taking them out and putting them uh, steel uh, liners in them. Uh, well, that's not the choice of LN Engineering. LN Engineering says you go, uh, steel with aluminum is not the best combination. Uh, so they have uh, a, a special uh, developed cylinder. This, so this is, this is uh, an engine case which they press in a new cylinder? Yes. Okay. So, and the nice thing is for the same price of the standard bore, mm -hmm. you can get an increased bore. So it doesn't uh, change the pricing on, for example, 
upgrading in 3.4 to 3.4 to 3.4 to 3.8, okay. which is which is uh, uh, of, of course very interesting on, on horsepower and torque. Um, but the nice thing is, it's a complete uh, development in-house and done in-house at LN Engineering. So what we do is collect uh, the engine cases, package them in the right way, in short, send them over to LN. They have a, 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 a video how this is done internally and then it is shipped to us and we ship it everywhere in Europe. Uh, Alex has uh, provided us a link or if you send him an email through his website and you add DRS development as a subject, uh, you get 10% off on the new starters. Uh, we will show you when it's mounted on, onto the engine. But any purchase for anyone who is watching this, DRS development in the subject, and then you get a nice discount. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Um, well, we have uh, shown you what you can supply. We will add yep. all of the information in, a, in the link below. Um, Alex, thank you very much. You're uh, let's pack and go to JFT. Yes, let's do it. So we're here at my favorite place to work with, or the favorite company to work with, uh, JFT Engineering. Been doing business with them for four years, but the owner, Philip, um, has been a friend of mine for over 10 years. Uh, we met on track, uh, had quite a few mutual projects together. Uh, JFT is run by him and his two sons, Jeff and Tommy, which is why it's JFT. Uh, and I'm about to introduce you to the F, Philip. Hi. Jan. <laughs> Hi. Philip. <laughs> <laughs> so Philip, tell us, um, why do you work with us? What's your connection to Porsche? And what's your overall thing uh, starting the AFT? Overall reason? Um, that's a lot of questions. But uh, uh, why Porsche? Because I think uh, Porsche and especially the, the older uh, Porsche cars are really well designed. Um, I'm uh, very much into into car racing and, and, and motorsports and, and I always think that Porsche builds uh, a car that came out of the factory that was capable to, to go on the track. And win. And, and win races. And uh, well, that, that's the reason why I uh, chose for Porsche. Um, JFT Engineering, yeah, it's, it's, it's originated in, in our passion for motorsports uh, and also a passion for mechanical engineering. Uh, I, I really love to machine uh, parts, uh, to build engines. To and, design them from scratch. And, and yeah, design stuff and, and make stuff better where we can. So why do you work with us? Well, because uh, I, I mainly like um, the engineering part of uh, and the mechanical part of, of the business. Uh, I'm not that good in, in the commercial side of the business and that's what you shine in. So I think in that way that we make a great team. As I've said previously, uh, I know how to sell an engine. I know like 90% of what goes into the engine, but I can't actually build them, which is why I uh, use Philip, I use Marcel uh, for just that. We, we usually have crazy ideas and this is why I like coming to AFT. Usually it starts with an idea that's in my head uh, of, of can we do this or is this system uh, product possible? And the main reason why I like going to Philip, it's it never, no, we can't do that. It's always like, I think we can do that. And then it starts as a, as a, yeah. a synergy, like, is this possible? It is, but that costs too much money. We can do this at, with this material in it. It's, 
Um, one of the main reasons why I like working uh, uh, with Philip and the whole YFT crew. Uh, and also, I don't know if you remember this, but when I met Philip on track, uh, we were talking about a 968 turbo engine and everybody said, oh no, it's unreliable, it's not doable. And I was talking to Philip, he said, yeah, you just take this from that engine, take that from the other engine, put it together, and in, in the end it will work, which is one of my fondest memories because it's, it's, it's how he works uh, and Node ID is crazy. So what's your, uh, your rep sheet engine-wise? What have you built um, that's mentionable? Well, I, I started off with the, the 968, uh, the three liter turbo engine. That was the first race engine that I built. Before that, I did a, a V8 Mercedes engine, but that was for street use. Uh, after that, um, I started my first uh, air-cooled engine, which was a 993 uh, GT2 uh, twin turbo engine. Um, I was uh, going to race it, but before the engine was completely finished, uh, somebody in, in it went to Finland. Somebody <laughs> in Finland um, wanted to buy it, and I sold it where it's, it's still running and it's still running great. Uh, after that, I built a 964 race car for myself, uh, of which I did also the, the engine. Um, and also that engine is still running uh, great today. And uh, after that, I, yeah, I, I lost count on how many air-cooled 964 engines that I put together. Quite, quite a bit. Um, so what do you have to show for us today? Well, today uh, we are going to show uh, what we do with the cylinders, uh, flowing the, the cylinders and, and the machining part of that. And uh, why we do that, it, it's a, a complementary um, thing that we do in addition to flowing the carter. So it helps airflow inside the carter so that there is less resistance for the pistons to go up and down. Awesome. Can we see? See? We can we, okay, we she, we can she, she. <laughs> so this is what we start with. This is a, a standard uh, 3.6 uh, liter uh, cylinder, a 964. You can see that the bottom <coughs> of the cylinders is cylindrical. There are no cutouts. And what we are going to do here on the machine is make two cutouts to improve airflow. After the machining, we have a little burr on both sides, which we deburr manually. Now this cylinder is ready with the spacing we made to uh, make the air pass easier uh, on the bottom. So Philip, um, all of the components that are non-original for from our engine, um, can you take us through uh, all of the different parts that we already gathered? Well, uh, some of the most important uh, components uh, that we have, we have the CP uh, pistons, which are a higher compression than the normal piston that you use in a, a standard engine. Uh, pistons also have <coughs> a, a cutout 
to allow uh, a bigger valve lift. Yes. So that the valve doesn't hit uh, the piston. Pistons are a lot lighter than the original ones. So uh, forces uh, on the connecting rods are much less. So this should give a big advantage. And then we have the connecting rod. This is a powder connecting rod, which is also a lot lighter than, than the original one and stronger. Uh, it has the uh, RFP connecting rod bolts. Yes, so they're reusable. They're reusable and, um, well, th it gives a very reliable uh, connecting rod, which is light. And that's and important. The, uh, we also have some Pouter um, rockers. Yeah. Why are these so important? Well, uh, if you see, um, you, you can find on YouTube, um, can you find uh, videos where you can see how a rocker moves in an engine? It, it does an incredible amount of movement up mm. and down. It, it pushes the, the valve in uh, every time. Um, when this should be as light as possible, but also be uh, strong enough uh, to, to have the strength to push in the valve. Um, and why uh, it needs to be light is that um, with the inertia, the risk, uh, you have the risk that the valve starts floating mm -hmm. when this is too heavy. Uh, it, it isn't going to be able to go up and down fast enough. So and that in combination with our newly built heads, uh, that we showed in a previous episode, how much of a difference do you think it makes? Well, it makes a lot of difference because we already have larger valves. So those are a little bit heavier mm -hmm. than, than the standard valves. So you need to cut weight somewhere. And this is where we do it. We cut weight with the, the valve rocker um, while keeping uh, enough strength. So you've seen pretty much anything uh, uh, prep preparational uh, on the engine. Uh, next time we're, we're back, uh, we're going to show you all of the other components that we're going to use and we're going, it's time for assemble. So uh, tune in next episode. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and let us know in the comments what you think.